This is so weird. From putting fans in the arena virtually to making the fan an actual player in a real NBA game, the future of the NBA is here. But that's not even the craziest part, because the league's new wild mix of VR, AI, and the fan connection to the court has put the NBA in a very interesting middle ground between the past and the future. And before we dig into the league's artificial intelligence, let's look at some of the other latest basketball technology and AI that's combining the future with today. And all of it is specifically designed to make the game easier and to track your progress as a player and fan of the game. Now, what happens when you combine artificial intelligence with a basketball? The smart basketball. In 2020, this basketball was introduced for a very interesting purpose. All you have to do is scan the ball with a phone or tablet and then you can easily go into classes and exercises. It's basically a fitness class but with a basketball. And with AI, your speed is tracked to show performance and improvement. So, the purpose is for both the player and the fan to improve dribbling skill with the power of technology. But that's not the only smart basketball accessory, the smart hoop. In 2022, this smart hoop was introduced, but there's much more to it than what meets the eye. Not only does AI track your shooting performance, there's crazier social aspects to this basketball hoop too. You can play with your friends virtually, work on your own shot with personalized training, and compete with others around the entire globe. It really brings the aspect of virtual to VR with the ability to play with your friends if you can't play one-on-one -on -one in real life. But if you thought that was unbelievable, this next thing will blow your mind. Because this is where we begin to talk about how the NBA has integrated AI into the fan experience, both on and off the court. Let's start with off the court. And the NBA did it with futuristic jerseys? You might have bought one yourself. Fans want ease of use and more accessibility. From virtual reality to AI art with personalized designs, technology has made it easier than ever to immerse the fan into the game. So, let's take a look at an early tech advancement. App-connected jerseys. Yes, in 2017, the NBA introduced these Nike Connect jerseys. But the craziest part is what these jerseys gave you access to. You would tap your phone to the chip on the jersey and then immediately get access to pre-game arrival footage, interviews, and much more. And it all depended on whose jersey you had. But in 2021, Nike and NBA stopped producing them because fans could already access this in much easier ways. And that brings us to the newest artificial intelligence in the NBA. It's real weird, and it's all accessible to you right from your couch at home. But first, let's ask one quick question. Why? The NBA is fan-based, and the league surpassed $10 billion in revenue in just one season for the first time in 2021-22. And guess what? Nearly a quarter of that came from ticket sales alone, which is insane considering generally 99% of fans never stay step in an NBA arena. Enter virtual reality and AI. Now, here are some of the latest advancements in league technology that have now been combined with a fan experience. We'll leave it up to you to decide if you're into it or not. There's technology that can predict the movement of players, AI that creates unique features on players, and of course, the expanded accessibility for fans, which is what we go to now. AI art. AI art has taken over social media, but it isn't just art turning players and fans alike into futuristic characters. There is also AI that allows you to create highlights of players, basically taking old highlights and mixing or deep faking other people or players onto these clips. It's getting so crazy that you can even put your own face on these clips. But now, not only can you put your face on these highlights, but in real games. And before we get to that, let's look at this crazy AI feature that you may have seen before, court and player breakdowns. Here's a couple names you should know in the AI stat tracking world, Second Spectrum and Court Optics. Going as far back as 26 16, this stat tracking data has advanced the way everyone is able to take in NBA games. It tracks players' shots, shot locations, and much more for players and coaches alike to help them set up their next game plan. It may even play into sports betting in the near future. But it's not just for NBA players and coaches. Personal apps. There are personal apps available that allow you to track your own shots, practices, and more to improve your own game if you don't have access to one of the smart basketballs or smart hoops that we discussed earlier, or a real life friend. But now, the VR and AI you have been waiting for. This is how the NBA has 
has evolved the on-court and in-arena fan experience. Virtual courtside fans. The bubble. During the NBA bubble of 2020 was when fans arguably got some of the first real tastes of integration of the fan experience in relation to virtual reality during a live NBA game. Yes, there had been social media streaming options and lives, but this integration really brought the virtual fan to the court. How did it work? You would get your virtual ticket, log on with Microsoft Teams, and then root for your favorite team at home. Some of the fans really got out of hand. Even other NBA players and celebrities made appearances as virtual fans during the bubble. But, and it may be hard to believe, but some of the real madness of the NBA and AI started with the return of actual fans into the arena, with a very interesting take. VR courtside seats. Starting in 2021, the NBA started a new way for fans to step into the arena virtually. It became available through Oculus and allows you to sit courtside at a live NBA game. But in 2022-23, the NBA only allowed 50 games in VR and only 5 out of those 50 could be used with the full 180 degree look. It was also much glitchier upon release but has slowly improved. And it does beg the question, would you even use this or have you already? But if sitting courtside isn't enough for you, you can step into the shoes of an NBA legend, or any NBA player for that matter, and we're not talking video games. VR streaming that puts you in the game. In February 2023, the NBA revealed the newest AI and virtual reality options on the official NBA app. How does it work? You scan yourself, and then you're able to replace yourself with any player that is currently on the court during a live game. The technology is insane. It really crosses over between real life and video games. An insane deep fake. And here's a little further explanation from the NBA demonstration. Now the menu is going to come back up, and so look, we've inserted you in the avatar selection. And then, see where the red is going? You could choose different players. So yeah. This will be in a live game. You will be inserted into the game. You'll be making all the same movements he was. So yeah, the scanning not only puts you in the game, and it makes you any player you want that is out on the court at any given time. But this brings us to a very interesting point. Would you rather have yourself be seen making these highlights or have the actual player? It may change your memory of some of the greatest highlights of all time, because this could really remove the human factor or even fan component of watching games, making the fan become the player. And this has actually been around longer than you think, because you have been able to become a VR NBA player. Since 2016, NBA 2K, the video game, has had a VR feature for gamers since 2016. And in 2023, they added a VR component to their 2K league as well. And that brings us to the confusion of these technological integrations. Because there is really no other experience than actually going to an NBA arena. But not everyone has the ability or access to do so. And with the rise of highlight viewing and the fall of television viewership, what really is in store for the future of the NBA? Is this what the fans want or rather what the NBA needs because why do fans really watch the game people buy jerseys of the players not of themselves for the most part the LeBron James's and Steph Curry's of the world now we saw how briefly the Nike Connect jerseys lasted due to other more easily accessible and desired options so do you think these AI streaming services are here to stay and if so what direction do you see them going in the future do you even like them at all let us know in the comments and subscribe for more